Ready? Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> a relationship in a nutshell right there. <laughs> We didn't have a composer or lyricist at the beginning of the project and we kind of went through this odd process that happens more and more now when people decide, you know, what if this is a great story, we really want to make it into a musical, who can write it? It just seemed so completely obvious from the get-go that David had all the sensibilities. Um, he has such an extraordinary take on humour, dysfunctionality, but also big emotions, how to put his finger on the truth. And I knew that we needed a composer that was uh, versatile and you know had a populist sensibility but also knew how to really write a dramatic piece. This is it, this is it, like th this person who can write this giant showbiz number in this lovely plaintive little ballad in this show-stopping emotional song, like e our characters need that kind of range. They had a spark, there was a something about them together that made sense. Just hear me out, I might... Collaboration. Do I start? I'll start. There, that's how it works. <laughs> that's <laughs> the collaboration. You want to start? The no, lyrics should come first, I guess. You know, we talk about a scene for days sometimes before figuring out what the song might be, and one of us starts, whether it's music or lyric, depends on who has the strongest impulse. And so if somebody brings something in, and then the other person responds to it, and we tear it apart, and we say, mm -hmm. this is good, this is not so good, what if we move this and made it the B section, or is this the chorus? And then the song gets better and better and sharper and sharper. And then we throw it out. Then we throw it out. <laughs> we always ask ourselves, how is this a musical? Because that's what everybody asks. How is it not just transferring the movie to a Broadway stage? It's not what we're doing. And so when we started, we kept asking, what don't we know about Shrek? What don't we know about Fiona? What, what, what haven't we found out by the movie? And a lot of the songs that we wrote came out of asking those questions. Bill Damaski and Jeffrey Katzenberg were really right from the beginning, said you, you don't, it's not that you shouldn't honor the movie. The idea is you're putting it in a theatrical form. How do we take these beloved characters and their rhythms, but then make them our own? The show is insane because the characters are so all over the place. So to find someone that can take all of these disparate elements and characters and tones and tie them together in one world that's Janine, and I can't think of anybody else who could do that. And you have a cast of 30 plus, you have a, a full orchestra, and you have every kind of magical element that you could add to a stage. It's almost like opera when you think about it. And the range of styles that she can write, she has a great, um, a great sense of, of you know, funk and, and R&B. She's got classical chops, she's got straight up music theater chops. She just has a remarkable gift. She's so diverse, and yet any style she writes in, you would think it's the only style she wrote in. Sing a song, yes, a travel song. I when knew you that David could write lyrics because his plays were very lyrical and, and had the, you know, a bros called the rat a tat tat, that kind of rhythm that you either have or you don't, in my opinion. His lyrics and his words are, not only are they like, natural, organic. The, the characters are so clear and you fall in love with every single character, even Farquaad. And David Lindsay Bear uh, kind of let me go further and find things and the, the voice that, that I use for Farquaad and, and then I, I would, that was able to add things that they, that they let me do that. These people have immense heart. They are dedicated not just to serve their own wheelhouse of talent. They're there to serve this story. I and mean, they just set the tone for all of us. They never stopped working until the very last second. They were just a real inspiration to all of us. I think we were very lucky in that we found a really great partnership. I can't wait to get to work again. I don't know what. That's the greatest, for me, the greatest compliment I could say is right after opening night, I thought I could start again on Monday. And we, this, we opened on Sunday, so that's really close. <laughs> <laughs> Ah!